now we will see the 2d rectangular plot properties how we can export a graph how we can import it how we can compare two different graph and multiple graphs we will see how to assign values to a graph and we will see how different all possible properties of a graph default color of a graph is red you can change the properties of this graph you can also change of the property of this region you can also change the values along x axis along y axis here is frequency and in db now first see how to change the graph properties just mouse on this graph and double left click you will see this window here is three different options for cartesian on which it is graph graph has been created general properties there is common for both and attributes of this graph you can change name of this graph similarly you can change the color you can change the line type different line types are available you can change the graph width trace type you can change the trace type also you can also select the symbol type you can also change from here symbol color and press on ok you can see the graph properties has been changed you can change the color of plotting area similarly you can change the color of this back color what changing this legend current double click here from here you can change the color of this region you can change the values of this graph as well just just double click left you will see here on scaling option you can change their range here is 
maximum range is minus 0, minimum range is minus 14. Spacing between two values is 2. You can change this spacing as well. You can also change the type. Then press on OK. Similarly, you can change the values of horizontal axis. Here you can see that the starting value and end value. You can assign with different spacing the range of values. You can add the marker, the position where you want. First you have to zoom it by edit menu. You can zoom it with the mouse button. For example, I am going to add the marker at minus 10 dB. You can click here to fit it all in active view. Here you can see the value of the bandwidth of this graph. Similarly double click on this and you can change the properties of this as well. You can add the node anywhere. You can zoom it any part if you want to zoom it. If I want to zoom this part, I will do it. Now I'll see how to export it. By choosing the file type, press save. Now I want to import the S11 return last plot. First choose the file type we have saved in .txt file and name and just open. Fit all in active view. We can also see in this plot as well. We can save in a different file type. Now import the same type. Here it is in black color.
Now here you can see that this is VSWR plot and this is return last plot. 